Welcome to the Google AI for JavaScript Developers with TensorFlow.js course. I'm Jason Mays, Developer Relations Engineer for TensorFlow.js here at Google. And having used JavaScript throughout my career for over 15 years now for both web engineering and creative innovation, it's been truly amazing to see how far it has come. With new browser level APIs and language features being added continuously, JavaScript is the world's most widely used programming language and it makes it super simple for you to bring your creative ideas to life, no matter what background you might be from. And now the next evolution of how it's gonna be used has arrived, machine learning. And for those of you new to this field, TensorFlow.js is Google's machine learning library for JavaScript. And it's just like the original version of TensorFlow that came out in Python, but is aimed at folk who code in JavaScript or Node.js instead. And this allows more developers to use machine learning without having to learn a new language and use their creations in even more places than ever before, as JavaScript can run pretty much anywhere. From client side to server side, mobile native to desktop native, and even Internet of Things devices like a Raspberry Pi. Coding your creations in JavaScript allows easy shareability with the reach and scale of the web, along with a number of benefits that are impossible server side as you'll learn later in the course. Now this course assumes no prior knowledge with this industry and will kick things off by demystifying artificial intelligence and machine learning. I'll then be teaching you how to be productive using TensorFlow.js, walking you through how to use common machine learning models for things like object detection to spam classification and much more. This will enable you to solve real world problems that you encounter. Take this Chrome extension, for example, that allows you to ask a question on any web page and then be scrolled to the answer, even though the answer did not contain the words in the question asked. Very powerful stuff. And with machine learning models like this that are capable of natural language processing, you can deliver more advanced solutions to your customers than ever before. And in the use case shown here, no cloud API is used because we're using TensorFlow.js in the browser all on the client side, ensuring your privacy is preserved too as no text needs to be sent to the server for classification. Now with a little bit of creativity, you can take these models or write your own and use them to bring your existing ideas to life for your next project by integrating them with your favorite web technologies, just like this example does that enables real-time motion capture to drive virtual avatars using a regular webcam. And it works on any device with a web browser. By the end of this course, you'll understand how to create next generation web apps similar to those that we just saw that can give you superpowers versus traditional websites, allowing you to offer your customers capabilities that traditional web engineering just could not. In addition to learning how to use off-the-shelf pre-made models for many common tasks, you'll also learn how to make custom models with your own data. Now, machine learning is already fast influencing every major industry out there, and the pace of innovation in this space will continue to rise in the years to come. Traditionally, you may have associated machine learning with Python and academia, but now it's easier than ever to use with TensorFlow.js, which enables you to do all of this in any web browser, anywhere in the world, and anywhere that JavaScript can run. Right now, 70% of developers just like you currently use JavaScript in production, and combined with the rise in popularity of AI and machine learning, we've seen exponential growth for developers taking their first steps with machine learning in JavaScript. So now is the perfect time to learn more about it and take your first steps too, no matter what background you might be from, to provide you with competitive skills for your future career as more customers than ever are requesting or expecting smarter systems powered by machine learning every single day. In the next part of this chapter, you'll see what others are already creating with TensorFlow.js in the browser to give you a taste of what's possible, along with detailing what you need to know to get the most out of this course.